Good morning, my name is David Anderson and I'm the lead pastor here at Faith Baptist Church. We want to welcome you and thank you for joining us this morning. We have a wonderful worship service planned for you, one that I hope will be of good encouragement to you and great practicality. Just about every day of the week, we have many opportunities for you to worship and grow in your Christian walk. Let's listen to what Pastor Joe has to say about this upcoming week. Good morning. This morning, Pastor Dave will continue his exciting series on the Holy Spirit. And at 11.15, after our worship service, we'll be hosting a fellowship meal featuring relief missionaries, Bill and Debbie Crawford. We hope you'll stick around to join us for this time of fellowship and tasty food. Our Young Adults Crossover Group meets here at the church at 6.30 p.m. If you're between the ages of 18 and 29, come on out for a great time of fellowship and study with our like-minded young adults. This Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. in our main auditorium, Pastor Dave will continue his series on the biblical principles of parenting. And don't forget, the kiddos meet in the gym at 6 p.m. for our Adventure Club, and Teens for Christ meet at 6.30 over in the Washington Building. This Thursday, our men's study groups will meet here at the church at 6 a.m. and again at noon for an in-depth look into the book of Proverbs. This is a great opportunity to really dive deep into Scripture and make some strong friendships. On Saturdays, we have a prayer group that meets here at 9.30 a.m. in our foyer. Hi church, my name is Melissa Smith and I'm excited to share that I am taking on a more instrumental role in our children's ministry. We already have some new changes underway that include expanding our classes to accommodate the growing number of children that attend on a weekly basis. We'll have our nursery for ages zero to two, a class for three to five year olds and one for ages six to 11. As of last week, we implemented our new check-in system that will make dropping off and picking up children more efficient, safe and secure for families. With all of these exciting changes, also comes our urgent need for volunteers to help teach and assist in this ministry to make it successful. If this is something you would prayerfully consider or would like more information about, please see myself or Pastor Joe. And please pray for this ministry, that through any challenges we face or changes that are made, that the name of Christ be magnified, and that it would bring our young ones a heart to know and trust in the Lord. Thank you, have a blessed Sunday. If you're a guest, we'd like to have you fill out the guest card in the back of the seat in front of you so we can get to know you a little better and reach out to you to see if you have any more questions about our church or how we can be of service to you. Or go online and fill out the Guest Connect form on our website. Now, may you grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen and God bless you. My name is Richard Hester. Kathleen, my beloved wife and companion since 1956, has been a great help me throughout the years of missionary ministry. I was born into my earthly family in 1932. By God's wonderful grace, I was born into His heavenly family in 1950. God burdened our hearts to serve in Lebanon, a place in which we had never been, in a language we did not know at that time. We had the privilege of serving there for 17 years until that country would be ripped apart by a tragic civil war. Our lives were miraculously spared through some very threatening events. God opened the door for us to continue our Arabic ministry in Australia, and we arrived in Sydney in 1976 to begin a very fruitful ministry among the 300,000 Arabic-speaking immigrants of Sydney. But God allowed that time of great fruitfulness and great joy to be tempered with years of weakness and sickness, but today we can say that God has used it all in our lives to make us better people for His use. Lebanon still excites us. In 2004, we had the privilege to go back and enjoy a blessed and fruitful month of ministry there. Our plan is to continue to minister here in Sydney until we check out of here, or until the Lord Jesus Christ comes, and that may be very soon. This month, their Sending Church in El Dorado, Kansas, a church they planted nearly 70 years ago, will be hosting an anniversary celebration. The Hesters are truly missionary heroes of their generation and it has been a privilege for FBC to be able to support these amazing missionary elders. Of course, their current condition is a reminder that fresh troops are needed in the difficult areas of the world, and especially the Arabic-speaking world. 